Hello everyone, in this video we will see about surveying and the important topics which we analyzed from the last 5 year papers both from gate and engineering point of view and other competitive exams. We will also see about principles of surveying towards the end. First of all, what is surveying? Suppose you have an area and you want to determine the position of this point A. So you will have two benchmarks here and you will try to fix the position of A like this. So here angle is involved and distance is involved. If A is at a height, even elevation is involved. So determining the relative position of points is surveying using angular and linear measurements. Now let us see what were the important topics based on last 5 year papers. So errors, calculation of angles, traversing, leveling and trigonometric leveling, curves, photogrammetric survey, remote sensing basics, GPS and GIS basics are the important topics. In this leveling and trigonometric leveling and calculation of angles are very important. At least one question comes in every exam. And out of these three topics recently in gate exam at least one question comes and in engineering service exam at least two to three questions come in objective paper and one question comes in this GPS GS basic often in conventional paper and you should not ignore theory in surveying because at least one question will come in gate exam which will be very easy and if you have a glance of all the subjects covered in surveying just the basics theoretical part you can answer that question very easily surveying is the most easiest to score because there are not much new questions so you should look to score fully this is all about important topics and how to get the marks now let us see the principles of surveying the principles of surveying are in two parts one is location of a point from two points of reference so whenever you want to locate a point A you will locate it using two points of reference H and Y because if you use two points it will be very accurate if you determine it is 5 meters from A and 4 meters from Y with so and so angles so then you can check it and ac accurately determine the position of A so this is the first principle of surveying the second principle of surveying you should is that you should always work from whole to part why should you work from whole to part let us see with an example suppose this is the area to be surveyed so you will try to divide this area into various triangles and then keep on surveying suppose you want to determine this position you will always try to go from whole to part from H you will determine this position and from here you will determine this position say let it, let it be B but suppose if you are doing the reverse way from B if you are trying to measure H or some other point here if you make a error of 1 meter here that will get accumulated everywhere so it is not a good idea to work from whole to part to whole so it is always best to work from whole to part which is the principle of surveying so that you minimize the accumulation of errors and the errors do not spread so this is the basic idea between for working whole to part now whichever topics we mentioned those important topics we will cover in the further upcoming videos and we will also cover the non important topics thank you guys for watching the video please subscribe to our channel to continue watch more videos